Dozens of universities named in a recent class action lawsuit claiming they engaged in fixed aid pricing and artificially raising the cost of going to college. ABC 6 News reporter Josh Kerman brings us a look at what the lawsuit says and what universities here in New England are being named. A lawsuit filed earlier this week names College Board and 40 universities, including 10 from the New England area. The plaintiffs claim the universities have taken concerted action to require non-custodial parents of applicants looking for financial aid to provide their financial information. Basically, that means if you had a parent who didn't have custody and wasn't planning on helping pay for college, universities would still factor their income into how much aid you might get. The lawsuit describes one of these situations through a student at Cornell, writing... As part of this process, plaintiff's custodial parent and non-custodial parent were required to provide information to support her aid application. Plaintiff's non-custodial parent is on disability and has a much higher income than her custodial parent. When they asked to remove the other parent since they couldn't contribute, they were denied and told the other parent was still expected to help pay. Here in New England, 10 universities were named in the lawsuit, including Brown University, Brandeis, Harvard, MIT, Northeastern, Yale, Boston College, and Boston University. We reached out to all of them for comment, with College Board sending a response, reading, We just received this legal action and are reviewing it, but we are confident that we will prevail in this action. Representatives from Worcester Polytechnic and Harvard responded, saying they do not comment on pending litigation. Now, the plaintiff is citing the Sherman Act, an antitrust law relating to monopolies and fair competition, in its request for relief, asking the courts for damages from the universities for those impacted and to change the financial aid process moving forward. The soonest update would likely come in a few months if the defendants move to dismiss, but litigation could still last for a few years. Josh Kerman, ABC6 News.